Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving if you're coming across the procedure entry point UCRTBase.terminate is missing or corrupt, or perhaps the API MS Win SRT runtime error. So, pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and just jump straight into it. So, we are going to begin by opening up the Web browser of our choice, doesn't matter which one. And just wait for Chrome to open up. That's what I'm going to be using in today's tutorial, unsurprisingly. And just want to navigate over to google.com if it's not your homepage. And once Google opens up here, we're going to go ahead and do a quick Google search. And it should be for Visual C++ Redistributable. 2017 and go ahead and search that. I meant to type a plus, look like it was an underscore there. We're going to go underneath where it says the latest supported Visual C++ downloads. Should be a Microsoft website here, so we're just going to go ahead and open that up. And it should be a link here. It says download the Microsoft Visual Redistributable for Visual Studio 15, 17, and 19. Just going to have to go down a little bit on this page here. And you can select which one's applicable for your computer. So times 86 is a 32 bit computer, times 64 is 64 bit. Most people are going to be doing the 64 bit one. I'm going to be on the 32 bit version here. So I'm just going to go ahead and open that up by just clicking on it one time. It's only about 13 megabytes, so not a very big download at all. We're just going to give it a moment to download here. And once it's done downloading, you're just going to go ahead and open it up to run it. You can minimize or close out of the web browser at this time. And if you got a user account control prompt, you want to go ahead and select yes. It appears I might have accidentally have closed out of it or it closed out without me running it, so it looks like I'm going to have to go ahead and go in the downloads folder and run this file. So let me just go ahead and double click on it. Go ahead and select yes in your case. Um, it just appears I would have accidentally closed out of it. So it says open file security warning. Go ahead and select run. Check mark where it says I agree to the license terms and conditions and select install. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And once that's done, you will need to restart your computer before you can use the software. So go ahead and just select restart.
Okay, so now that our computer's restarted, that should be about it. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.